Hi, my name is Nathan. You're watching Nice at Dice, and today I'm talking about something a little bit different. I'm talking about an accessory for tabletop role-playing games. The accessory I'm talking about is this. It's called the Dungeon Books of Battle Mats. It's a uh, set of two books of battle mats that you can use for your encounters in D&D &D or other similar role-playing games. And it also comes with, or it doesn't come with, but there's also from the same company a couple of other accessory products. Um, one is this little book of battle mats, Dungeon Edition, and also these, uh, this pack of, of add-on scenery for RPG battle mats. So I'm going to be showing you a little bit of all three of these products. They all work together very nicely, and I'm going to show you uh, how they work and then give you my thoughts on them. Okay, so this is the Dungeon a set of two battle mat books for RPGs. It's two uh, ring-bound books in a sleeve. Uh, on the back of the sleeve, you can see uh, kind of their pitch for the product, what it is, but you can also see uh, images of all the maps included in each book. So that's a nice touch. If you pick this up in the store, in uh, the shrink wrap, you can look at it and get an idea of what maps you're getting from these. So. The books slide out of the sleeve pretty easy. We can set that aside. And as you can see, we have two books. Um, another thing that I like is just like on the sleeve, on the back of each book, you have a listing of all the maps in that book. Um, and they're all numbered. Those are page numbers as well. As you flip through the book, you're going to see that the, uh, the maps uh, line up with the pages. So I'm just going to show you some of the features of these books. So. As you can see, the um, maps are laminated. Um, they have a nice glossy finish to them. Uh, the lamination means they're not gonna get damaged too quickly. It also means you can draw on them with dry erase um, if you wanna make notes of area effects or things like that. And basically, the appeal of these maps is they all have a one inch grid for um, your D&D style tactical combat. You could put miniatures on these, move them around um, like so. Um, each of these makes a map um, if you put you know these two together, right? Like there you have a map. Um, you can also fold it like so and then you have a smaller map. And if you need a bigger map, you can actually combine the maps from both books. So for example, you could do something like this, put these together, and now you have a much larger map for a big epic encounter. I'm just going to sort of flip through these so you can get an idea of what some of the maps are, and they could be combined in different ways. So for example, we could put um, this and this together like so, and now we have that configuration for an encounter map if you wanted to do something like that. So they're very versatile in that respect. Um, there's, you know, you could even do something like this and you have sort of like an L-shaped configuration, reverse L-shape in this case. Um, so yeah, very versatile in that way and just a very large variety of maps here. You have kind of like some submerged, partially submerged rooms here. Same thing here. So you'll see that between the two uh, books, the volume one and volume two, there's often uh, maps that sort of complement each other, okay? But all of the maps are designed to fit together well enough. So you don't have to worry about any maps not meeting up. Um, so for example, like here you can see, you have like some corridors that sort of wrap around these different rooms and the maps are all designed so that the corridors will meet up here on the edges. And that's regardless of how you decide to orient them. You can flip this book around like so, and the, uh, the corridors will still match up. You could put this, um, like the end of this to the end of that. And again, you have corridors matching up there. So that's pretty cool. You can, again, just a lot of versatility there. And again, I'm not going to spend a lot of time on every one of these, but I just want to give you kind of 
at least a look at what's in here in general. You have different styles of dungeons you can see, like um, this right here looks pretty new and fresh, like it might be a castle that's, or even a palace that's lived in, um, but then you have stuff that looks more like ruins over here. Uh, you have like a, this one's pretty cool where you have like a bridge over some water, so that's pretty neat, and so forth and so on. So I'm not going to show you all of them, but you get a general idea of what you're getting here. All right. So you have those two, and that's the main product I was showing you, the um, Book of Battle Mats for the Dungeon, Volumes 1, Volume 2. I also showed you that you have a smaller uh, book of little book of battle mats, Dungeon Edition, and this is essentially the same thing on a much smaller scale. So again, you have these little uh, tiny maps that you can use. These are nice for like just a little small encounter between the party and a couple of enemies. Um, and then of course also you could combine the maps in this with the maps in the larger books in various ways. You can kind of like tack these maps onto the bigger maps just to add a little something extra. You could even use these as like a segue if you have like a um, an encounter that's just keeps going on, like a big epic encounter that keeps rolling. You could take the action from one of the bigger books onto the smaller book and then flip to different maps in the bigger book you know, and use use the smaller book to sort of transition from one big map to the other. So you have those, and again on the back you have all the different maps shown for easy reference. The third product, which is kind of in an accessory to these others, is this. It's a pack of add-on scenery for RPG battle maps. It's basically a, a, a pack of sheets, much like this one. Um, and these are basically, they're not really stickers. They sort of look like stickers, but they come off. They have a clear background. Um, and then they just stick on to whatever map you wanna put them on. So we can drop this uh, right on there like so, and it'll cling to that. Doesn't come off. You can, you know, rub over it. Doesn't uh, come off very well, but you get your uh, nail under the corner there and you can peel them off and use them again somewhere else if you want You can return them to the page where they will be safe For the next time you want to use them. So there's that they have a whole bunch of different ones as you can see here You have like little bits of walls doors stairs furniture, etc. So that's pretty neat. All right, that's basically the uh, products now let's go back and I'll give you my thoughts on them. Okay, so that is the dungeon, books of battle mats, um, and some of the other, the little book and the add-on uh, scenery. So my thoughts about these, um, I think it's a great product. The maps themselves are decent. Um, they're not, you know, super highly detailed. They're not, um, you know, artistically speaking, they're not the greatest maps that I've ever seen, but they are perfectly fine. Um, they're perfectly sufficient for yeah, most people's needs when it comes to just having some sort of representation of the battlefield um, that the encounter is taking place on. So I think they're really good for that. They do feel a little generic, but I think that's probably more of a pro than a con because since they do, since they are fairly generic, you can use them in a variety of settings. I mean, obviously this would work really good for your sort of garden variety D&D style game. Um, but if you're playing something a little bit different, maybe something a little like steampunky or something like that, they could still work in that kind of um, setting. So I think that's a, probably a good thing. Where I think this really shines is just as a product. The maps themselves are fine, but the way that it is packaged, the way the whole product is put together is what makes this um, really an exceptional product in my mind. So I've seen maps um, of, in a few different varieties. I've seen like the, the big poster maps, um, which are pretty cool. Um, they're usually fairly large, fairly detailed, fairly specific to a particular locale 
and those can be pretty cool. And I've seen like the smaller dungeon tiles, which you know usually are maybe something like about that big, and you get a whole bunch of them, and you put them together to create different layouts, and that's pretty cool too. Very flexible, very modular. I like how this sits kind of right in the middle of those two extremes. Um, the maps themselves are fairly large, you know, like, I mean, that's, they're the size of this book, right? One page is the size of this book. So that's, you know, like that right there, that's a pretty decent sized map. That'll do you for most of your encounters. But, you know, if you want to expand it, you can lay it out and then you've got twice as big. You've got both books, you can put both books together and now you have something four times as big and now that's like a really big map, honestly. It's as big as any poster map and it's probably as big as you really want for any typical encounter. Um, I like how you can, you know, you can, you can play with the size of it that way. You can pair up different uh, maps from one volume and the other volume to create a variety of different locales. So I like that general uh, flexibility of it, that you can have like these big maps, but uh, you also have some modularity to it. But you also don't have, to me the drawback of the uh, map tiles is that you either have to um, set them up, you know, in game. So it's like everybody kind of takes a break while you set up the map, could take a few minutes and then you actually get into the battle and that can be a little awkward because it's like you you start the battle everyone's excited to get into the battle and then you have to take a break and set up all these tiles to get your configuration right so there's that um, this you don't have that you can set up a, a battlefield very quickly uh, even if you have to combine maps from a couple of different books it's still real quick to flip to the books you need and get right into it so I like that um, but again you're not limited to just you know, one set map with one set purpose the way you are with poster maps. So I like that. It's nice in between. Um, I like how, because they're in a book, uh, they're very, they take up very little space. Um, you know, the maps are nice and big, but they can easily fit on a bookshelf um, next to your RPG books. So they're not taking up a ton of space. Doesn't, you know, you don't need a lot of space to store them. So that's nice. Um, I like the fact that you have these little add-on scenery all right i mean this is a separate product you have to buy it separately but i think it complements their main product really well i like how you can use these to kind of dress up a map and then you can close the book with those still in there and they're not going to go anywhere so i like that you can set up the you know the map ahead of time with dress it up however you want to dress it up and then you can throw it in your backpack or whatever, take it with you, and then you just pop it open and it's ready to go. Um, other products where you have maps and you have various things you can put on the maps to modify them don't have that element to it. You know, a lot of times it's like you'd have to set up your map and then you put these different tiles on it for the different scenery or whatever. But it's like as soon as you move that map, all those tiles are going to fall off and you have to set it up over again. So I like how you can set these up ahead of time and then just kind of take it with you. One of the things I really like about this is it is, it's designed very well to kind of put something together on the spot. You know, it's really easy to flip through one of these books to find what you want, but also you have the quick reference on the back. You can just look through this, spot a map that will work for the encounter you're about to play, and then just turn to that page and off you go. If you're the kind of person who likes to prepare encounters ahead of time, um, which a lot of people do, um, it's good for that too because, again, if you want to dress up a map with these, you can do that ahead of time and close the book. Everything is still there, every, ready to go. Um, but it's also super easy to, you know, just make a note of um, since all the pages are numbered, you have volume one, volume two, all the pages are numbered. You can say this encounter when you're making your notes for your your session you can say this encounter uh, takes place on volume one page 12 and there you go you have the map uh, you know the map right away it's easy going to be easy to find you can even take i like to take um you know like uh, the sticky tabs by post-it and use them as sort of like bookmarks to mark the page 
that you want to use so you can flip to it that much uh, quicker so yeah just overall really nice product um, really good for use at the table just very practical um, it's really good if you prepare your encounters ahead of time it's easy to dress up those maps ahead of time have them ready to go you can even bookmark the page where the map is um, and if you want to do or need to do an encounter on the fly again super easy to find a map that will work for you flip to it and you're ready to go so overall definitely recommend um, the dungeon books of battle mats this is by loke battle mats and all of the accessories that go with it um, highly recommended by me again my name is nathan this is nice at dice thank you so much for watching and you enjoy the rest of your day